All right, so um, free response problem one, and we get a calculator on this one. So here we have that we're told that the rate at which cars enter a parking lot is modeled by this equation. I'm not going to read it because I don't want to mispronounce it, but here it is. And this rate at which cars leave the parking lot is modeled by a differentiable function L. Selected values of L of T, of L of T are given in this table. And both E of T and L of T are measured in cars per hour. And time T is measured in hours after 5 a.m. So T equals zero is 5 a.m. And T equals one will be 6 a.m. and so forth. Both functions are defined for values of T from zero to 12. Part A, what is the rate of change of E of T at time T equals seven? Indicate units of measure. Okay, so um, we're looking for E prime of t or e prime of seven in this case. Because again, it says rate of change of e of t. So don't, um, even though it tells you that e itself is a rate, you can have a rate of a rate. So we would just basically find the derivative of this value of this equation and plug in seven for t. And that's why we have our fancy calculator that I'm going to do it on. And we would then get about 6.16. So 6.1649 cars, and it's going to be per hour per hour. Now that kind of sounds weird, but it's remember. Um, it's the rate of this rate, it's the rate of the rate. And this itself is telling you um, cars per hour. So they actually do dock, they, do, they will mark you down if you don't put that rate correctly. Okay, so um, that's what the, well, that's what the units of measure are. Okay, part B, how many cars enter the parking lot from time t equals zero to time t equals 12? Give your answer to the nearest whole number. Okay, so then this is basically just gonna be the integral of E of T from zero to 12. And so then all we have to do is integrate this. And again, we can just use our calculator, evaluate this. And fast forward in here, we get to about 520. So it's the nearest whole number would be 520 cars. Whoops, I wasn't even sure. Well, here's my calculator and here's my work. All right, part, go to part C now. Are using a trapezoidal sum with the four subintervals indicated in the, by the, the data in the table. Use it to approximate the integral from two to 12 of L of T. Using correct units, explain the meaning of, of this integral. Okay, so going back to here, using um, a trapezoidal sum rule, remember these are just the, these are the heights like the, the 15, the, um, the 40, the 24, these are the heights. And from two to five, these are the widths. Three to five to four, five to nine is four. Nine to 11 is two, 11 to 12 is one. These are the widths, so widths by the heights, or in this case, like the bases. So rem remember um, what the trapezoid is. So it's so we're going from two to twelve, and we want to use doesn't tell you right or left, so um we don't have to worry about having a specific side. Doesn't tell you rem remum and sum or anything like that. 
So what you're going to do is basically then take the widths or these values times the average of these heights. So the first one will be three times the average of 15 and 40, four times the average of 40 and 40, 24, two times the average of these two, 24 and 68, and one times the average of 68 and 18. So we would have it set up like this. Three times 15 plus 40 over two plus four and 40 plus 24. Plus two times twenty four plus sixty eight and the last one is just one, so we don't need to write anything. It'll just be the average of sixty eight and eighteen. Well, I guess I don't have to write inside here sixty eight and eighteen. So you to take all these and let's see if we can do some um, calculator. We would get a 345.5. And since L of T is telling you the um the basically like the rate at which the cars are leaving. Where is the means right here? When you take the integral of the rate of when the cars are leaving, of the rate of the cars leaving, when you integrate that, you're gonna get the total number of cars that have left from, from this time period, from two hours after five to 12 hours after five. So we can say then the number of cars that Leave the parking lot from seven AM to five PM is, is approximately three hundred forty five point five. You could probably say 346, we will say approximately 346. But I would put 345.5 if you want to be sure. Then I'll mark you down for something stupid like that. Ooh. You never know. All right, part D for T between zero and six dollars, five dollars are collected. So for time, I guess time for time. You know, hours after 5 a.m., zero, from zero to six hours after 5 a.m., five dollars are collected from each car entering the parking lot. After those six hours, so from six to 12 hours after 5 a.m., eight dollars are collected from each car entering the parking lot. How many dollars are collected from the cars entering the parking lot from t equals zero to time t equals 12? Okay, so um, we essentially just have to figure out how many cars are coming in from zero to six. And that would be E of T. So we're going to integrate E of T dt. And this, since this gives you the number of cars that entered, we just multiply that by five, so five times this amount, plus then eight times the amount of cars that entered from six to 12 hours after 5 a.m. So from this integral. So uh, make sure you separate the integral. That's the key because you're charging a different rate you're charging different. You're charging a different price to the cars depending on what time they enter. 
But then if you do this in your calculator, just to save you the time, you would get about $3,530. I got exactly 3,530.139. Six two zero seven one. But again, the key is to multiply this by five and this by eight. All right, so I hope that helps. Um, again, give me some feedback if you had some questions or um, need me needed me to clear something up, or even if I made a mistake, you know, leave it in the comment section. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to go over the second fear response problem.